And now for some final thoughts on the next big thing. For most of human civilization, the pace of innovation has been so slow that a generation might pass before a discovery would influence your life, culture, or the conduct of nations. Today, and for a while now, we've come to expect major changes several times within a decade, especially among the developed countries. Some are big and obvious, like the invention of the telephone, the car, the airplane, or the computer. Some are big, but unfold slowly. Electrified cities and countrysides, access to abundant supplies of food, or the countless ways we now communicate with one another. Some of my favorite big things are the accumulation of little things, like the unending role of composite materials in our lives, or the steady growth and power of the Internet. More often than not, the next big thing takes you by surprise. You don't see it coming. You don't know or believe you need it. Then, the inevitable happens. You can't live without it. A last category of big thing comes from the discovery of ideas or perspectives. In 1968, Apollo 8 was the first spacecraft to ever leave Earth for another destination, the moon. Astronauts on board didn't land, but looped around the backside and snapped a photo of Earthrise over the barren lunar landscape. It took a voyage of the moon to see Earth for the first time. Enlightened and empowered by that single image, we transformed the way we care for our planet, which may just be the biggest thing of them all. And that is the cosmic perspective.